Hey YouTube, Free California here, and today we're going to be talking about assault rifles. So to start things off, we're just going to break down the definition of each word, and then we're going to look at the definition of the words combined, and uh, we'll see how they add up. So we'll start with assault. So I'm looking down here at dictionary.com, and the definition of assault is a sudden, violent attack and an onslaught. So, second here we have law, so an unlawful physical attack upon another, an attempt or offer to do violence to another with or without battery, as by holding a stone or club in a threatening manner. And in the military sense, the stage of close combat in an attack. Okay, so that sounds like a bunch of different actions to me. So, assault is describing an action it's not a thing so now we'll take a look at the definition of rifle which is also here on dictionary.com and it says a shoulder firearm with spiral grooves cut in the inner surface of the gun barrel to give the bullet a rotary motion and thus a more precise trajectory okay so that's a gun and in this case a rifle so it'll have a long barrel and it has grooves cutting it to rotate the bullet and give it a more precise trajectory more accurate now we're gonna read the definition also on dictionary.com of assault rifle so those two words one of them being an object and the other being an action now we're gonna check out this definition assault rifle is according to them a military rifle capable of both automatic and semi-automatic fire utilizing an intermediate power cartridge okay and then they have a second one down here as well a non-military weapon modeled on the military assault rifle usually modified to only allow semi-automatic fire so in this equation we have a which is assault, which is an action, uh, plus B, which is a rifle or an inanimate object, equals, according to dictionary.com, C, a inanimate object capable of performing an action on its own, which doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't add up. This is this is the Hollywood and the the government uh, providing a term to induce fear uh, into people who may not know much about firearms and it's just a joke it doesn't make any sense and so I've also looked up the word fallacy which I used in my last video and we'll see if this accurately describes their definition of the term quote-unquote assault rifle so fallacy a deceptive misleading or false notion or belief and the second definition down here is a misleading or unsound argument and I'd have to say that that perfectly once again describes the uh, Hollywood and government way of thinking uh, a rifle is just a rifle whether it's a bolt action a single shot, a lever action, or a semi-automatic rifle. It, it doesn't matter. A rifle is a rifle. Uh, and anyone could use any item to assault somebody else, whether it be a stick, a rock, or a rifle, or a pistol, or anything. So the whole persona that they've created behind the evil black rifles or assault rifles is just a, a load of garbage truthfully speaking uh, there is no inherent danger with them that is not provided by any other inanimate object uh, on the earth here so basically my point is just to kinda bring up the the holes in their their arguments and the, the side of their story and how they're just trying to make you think something is more dangerous and uh, should be outlawed or banned than it truly is or deserves 
Uh, I, you know, I was in the Marine Corps for five years and never once did I use an M16, which is the quote unquote military assault rifle, to assault anybody. Uh, I was only using it on uh, rifle ranges and shooting at paper targets and I had never had to shoot anybody with it, which I'm thankful for. But that just kind of solidifies my point in the fact that that term is just completely misleading because I never once used that rifle in the military to assault anybody or anything. So I would just like to stress the point that a rifle is just a rifle. Uh, how it's used depends on the person holding it. So one thing you can count on is that the bad people who don't follow laws, as we discussed previously, uh, will use rifles, sticks, and stones, hatchets, machetes in a bad way to hurt people and take advantage of them in any way that they possibly can. And the only way to stop them, effectively at least, is to be armed similarly uh, to the said bad guys and to be able to defend yourself and your family and your friends and your property uh, in a perfectly legal manner. So anyways, that's about all I have to say about this. Uh, it's a joke. It's just totally and utterly ridiculous. And I, I hope that in the future, uh, anybody who's watching this video won't refer to as or refer to an AR-15 or any military style rifle in the uh, with the term assault rifle. It's it's just a fallacy, and uh, it's just a semi-automatic rifle, just like any other semi-automatic rifle. It just looks a little different, uh, and it's not dangerous compared, or not any more dangerous than any other rifle or anything else out there that uh, a bad guy will use. So, just something to think about. Uh, if you liked the video, please uh, comment, describe uh, any differences or anything that you would like me to to read in the bottom in the comment section. Uh, go ahead and like and share um, and I hope to keep some videos pumping out and hopefully we'll get a few more subscribers and just as a reminder the free California stickers are available for the first 50 subscribers all you have to do is comment below and say hey I want one of those stickers and I will send it to you for free so I hope you guys have a great day and uh, God bless America and long live the Constitution thanks